Am I the only one who is sick and tired of Makita's? Now the cookie store staff is traumatized. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's check it out. Says Maurice and Pamela says the impacted employees will be allowed to take time off until they feel good enough to return. And in the meantime, they will <clears throat> remain on payroll. <laughs> so they, they wasn't broke. Okay. So none of the people that was working in there were hurt. Targeted by gunmen. Okay, so I saw in the news yesterday where they were saying that um, the family was receiving therapy uh, because of the emotional, because they were emotionally distraught over everything that was going on. I thought that eighty nine thousand dollars, ninety ninety grand, was making them feel better. Cause it ain't stopping, it ain't stopping, uh, old Raven from getting online, running a mile. That's what's throwing me. They, they talk too much to be distraught. We don't hear nothing from, uh, Dolph's immediate family. Nothing. We heard his mom speak at the council meeting to get his name approved for the street. But other than that, they don't talk. But these Makitas, these Hills and, and uh, Ravens and Tamikas, they can't keep their mouth shut. But they distraught. Uh, okay, they still making cookies. Says it's been three weeks since the rapper Young Dolph was gunned down at the cookie shop on Airways, and now, and now the owners are thanking everyone for their support. Three weeks later. Oh, okay. Okay, so as I was researching and going back through to see if by chance we missed something. And um, I ran across the um, Shelby County Commissioner, and he said something that <laughs> tickled my feather, so to say. Let, let's listen to it together. Somebody, I have to be somebody somewhere new. That some people were planning to do young dogs some harm today in broad daylight. Those people need to work with the authorities, bring the assailants, you know, to justice, and we need to start the process of involving the community because the government and law enforcement. So my concern with this is what if The community trap house is Makita's. What if where we have sympathy is where the problem is? I'm still not understanding why Makita's, Pamela and Maurice, has not had to produce evidence so the public can see and why uh, Memphis has Memphis PD has not publicly cleared them. Why? Why not? And the, and it, you know if they are having all this mental stress and need therapy and need GoFundMe money and people don't need to come to work. You know I understand it's devastating. It was a tragedy, but why? What's the hold up on clearing people? That's my thing. Clear them. Clear them. If they're innocent, 
clear them so that we can move on past the cookies. That's my take. Because honestly, until then, they are the cookie monster. They the cookie fam the the cookie monster family. Cookie killers, cookies, whatever. 